Hey, I'm Nate, this is Shoot Fist Productions, and what I've got here on the table is 3D printed egg on pallets. And what the hell would you want them? What's that all about? Well, if you want to find out, keep watching. Okay guys, what we've got here is 3D printed egg on pallets and uh, these are just pre-made patterns that have got a thingiverse, other people's work, just printed them out and we're going to give them a try. I've got 7 lots of 0.177 and 2 lots of 0.22. Some of them are very similar, but I thought I'd just give it a try. Um, we got, we're going to try them out in different guns and just to see what sort of foot pound they give, how much damage they would do and you know you might think well what what the hell's the point of that well let's just say you, you can get hold of air gun pallets at least you could actually print something and even as a pattern to cast lead ones even um or if you're shooting indoors um ain't got a lot of room you're worried about breaking glass and damaging stuff um these could be ideal so we're going to give them a test that's just going to do all the shooting um we're probably going to use the hw um wear hw40 which is a pneumatic single stroke gun and we're going to use Daz's SMK uh, 22... Uh, yeah, P700. PW700. PW700, yeah, which is extra silent. Um, and in the next video, um, we're going to show a silence adapter for the HW40. So, let's get on with it. Um, are we going to swap places? I'm going to do the filming. Daz is going to do the shooting. And um, we'll get all set up. We'll see you in a sec. Right, and Daz, what was, are we going to fire first? Right, we got, so we've got these... Uh, like pointed looking ones yeah. yeah okay and they weigh 1.2 grain okay we have got the 1.2 grain pallet in it got jammed up we had to um sand down the skirt on it because uh, that was sticking so where you go Daz? oh i just took it off oh. you missed after all that you oh, missed I didn't miss. I didn't. You that's so missed like that I didn't register it. fucking missed at that range really I'm did it shoot the pallet um, you can look through. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's get you another one ready. All right, and guys, if this one fails, we're going to move on to the next one and yeah. say that these pallets are shit because that take too much work just to get them in. When you drop them, no. yes. Mm. No. Knock it out. Right. We're going to skip on to the next pallet. So verdict is shot. Sure. Now, if you got your settings absolutely perfect printing, then they might work, but. Verdict on these, you really want stuff that come out of the printer, rip them off, ready to go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, alright, guys, what we got next, mate? Just some basic domes, got a little cut out on the back. But okay, all right. rip one off while you're ripping it off. I'll zoom in on the crony. Oh, we've got to wear it. Um, then I guess they're probably about the same. 1.1. Do you know, mate? Yeah. I ain't even gonna bother changing yeah, it because this, is, be this is all pretty approximate anyway. So again, if we have to fuck about with them too much, we're gonna call them a fail. Yeah, I'm just running my nail over there. Because, you know, do you want to be jerking around? You're gonna kill zombies with them anyway, so... Uh, well, that's why single printed That's gonna mine. take the fun out of it, innit? Like, when I first tested them out, I just single printed them. Yeah. And that's yeah, the work, Yeah, right? single printing would probably do it, but... I don't know. Okay, guys, just before you shoot it, mate, make sure you're blocking the light. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, you have to. You have to sort all these out. We we'll yeah. have Because if not, none of these are gonna shoot. No, it's good, mate. No, this is what it's all about. I don't want. I don't want to be Yeah, quick. but you don't print something and then not clean it. Yeah, but there's a degree of cleaning in there, you know. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Nah, it's not registering. Not registering. Told you I didn't miss. You missed, didn't you? Nah, did I? I think that's too low a speed and... What we got next, Daz? These torpedo looking motherfuckers. Ooh, they're long old things, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. Black yeah. yeah. boys. Hope they don't get jammed in the barrel. I don't know. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna have to weigh one of them. They look at these two or three times the weight. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> oh, so oh, I'm never gonna find out. Here's another one. Oh, two grain. I think we're gonna go. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Two grain pallet. 
coming up and we might even be here to do a damage test. Fuck all. You're missing, mate. Oh no, hey. I went straight through the fucking hole. How can you be missing at that fucking range? Let me just check this, Crony. We did put new batteries in it, didn't we? Okay, we had uh, some technical problems. I had the battery cover on wrong and it weren't reading. Uh, that weren't working. Um, Was that the same? Exactly the same? Because we that is one we done before. We fucked yeah. up with the camera and weren't sure if that was on or not. Well, we done two and they were pretty much yeah, yeah. Velocity wise, weren't much different. What we were. Well, the half a one. We're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do the plasticine test, damage test, penetration test. Because Dad's in fucking done none of that for quite a long while. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. So um, we got it on slow mo on the iPhone, mm. ordinary mo, and. Uh, do you think you can hit that from there, Daz? No. Your shadow is all over it. That, yeah, that doesn't, yeah. Wow, that's the most penetration I've seen from you in ages, Daz. Yeah. Well done. Okay. What's up next? Got some pointed. Spiky pointy ones? Yeah, pointed down. Or, yeah, okay, you give us one here, mate, and I'll. Uh, That'll be a great. I'll check the weight. Point nine grain. Oh yay! Hey. One point oh seven foot pound. Oh, wow! Look at the velocity. Seven hundred and thirty-three point five feet per second. Mm -hmm. Wow! I say we'll put a lead pallet through the gun at the end, so you can see um, what the difference is between this and lead. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the distance on a plastic pallet ain't going to be great, and the accuracy probably ain't going to be that great. But if you're shooting indoors and you want to damage stuff and all that sort of thing, um, there could be a use for them. Well, there's a stubby. But I did see a thing where a guy was gluing a 177 steel BB on the end of some of them. Yeah. Um, that looked interesting. What have we got this time, Des? And the same shape but stubby version. So, okay. Okay. And what weight have we got on these? Let's give it a check. 0.8, mate. Just bung it in. If it don't work, we'll skip. Yeah, it did. 0.88 foot pound, 706 feet per second. And that was a um, really low weight, so um, high velocity, low damage. <laughs> What's the matter? Half of it, come out. Half of it? Yeah. Oh, alright. I don't know if you can. Right, dome flatheads printed out on a strip. Um, let's see if they rip off and work straight off. We'll check the weight on them. Oh, 1.1. Deceptive. Deceptive. We'll change the crony. Wow, impressive. 780, 148. 780 feet per second, 1.48 foot power. I'll tell you what, for classic pallet, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, plasticine test with slow mo. <laughs> Still sitting in there, let me zoom in on that. It's funny, don't I? I think vermin and stuff, are, you know, yeah. at least stunned. What have we got there? It's like a dumbbell type. No, I can't see. Oh yeah, that's better. Dumbbell shape. Right. One point one. Pretty much the same as last, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's check all that. What's it set on? One point one. Okay. Hang on, hang on. It's gone all blurry. Let me just zoom out a bit. That's better. Okay. Oh, I didn't come out. No. Yeah, I did. I did. You miss? That was either exactly the same. They might have been the same pallets. That might they, be, they actually. Look, they look slightly I, There was some I printed out and they did look pretty similar, to be honest. Um, get your gun at end a bit closer. Yep. The, the speed changed. Changed, but the yeah, foot pound that didn't. Yeah. So uh, 1.48 foot pound, 779. So that's probably That's just. Hard. 778 oh. on the last one, so uh, they work. Two twos. Right, two twos. On the two twos, we're using Daz PP700W. Yeah, one is up. this ultra silent, but we ain't got the silencer on it tonight because oh. um, I don't know why actually. But yeah, just in case of plastic, I didn't want it shredding. That's silencer. true, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm messing with silencer. Right, what we got here, Daz? What's next? Yeah. Right, what's next, Daz? Like a domed, but they've got ever so slightly flat head on the top. But they're pretty much the dome pallet. Right. <coughs> okay. Yeah. And get a grain them. Let's grain it up. See what we got. It's going to be massive. 
bit of a skirt on that, I can feel my fingers. So, 1.4. Go. 0.72 foot pound, 482.7 feet per second. Okay, let's do a processing one on that one, Des. Uh, you got you got to stick another one in. Powerful, powerful ammo. Powerful. Right. So you're not going to kill much <coughs> with these plastic pallets. You might put someone's eye out. No. I'm waiting, mate. There we go. Slightly different ones. I like the more the dumbbell type. Probably going to be just as shit yeah. as all the rest of them. Probably way exactly. Them, I'll tell you what. Them long ones were good. Impressive. Yeah. For, I think if I was going to print any. I think that's probably because they're heavier and all the rest of it, but... And these are so fiddly, aren't they? It's bad enough with lead, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, 1.2. foot pound. 536 okay. feet per second. What are you doing Right, just to have an interest, we'll put two-two pallet through that, and so people can tell... Yeah, that's because I'm trying to do it. Wow, 2.59 foot pound. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's pretty good actually, 284 yeah. feet per second. So uh, we do a metal one into the play doh. <laughs> yeah, mate, actually. Let's uh, take it away. Yay. Well, it's dug right nearly all the way through, isn't it? Yeah, so that's the difference between a proper pallet and plastic. Just to wrap up the video on the plastic pallets, um, obviously there's all different types of material you can print these from, different weights of material, um, and that could have some good valid uses for in the shooting field. Um, so I've just done this as a quick experiment. I'm a beginner 3D printer, some of these probably could have been come out better if I'd printed them in a higher quality. Um, we had a problem with the skirt sticking and the rest of it. I was impressed with the long ones. Um, and again, some people were sticking uh, 177 BBs on the end of them. Again, I think you know if you've gone to all that trouble, you must well just buy some decent ammo, to be honest. Um, but it could have uh, some uses if you want to load them up with something. Um, maybe fill them up with chalk or something so they give you a puff and all that sort of thing. But again, you can buy them sort of things at a reasonable price. So, I mean. It's not about price. I mean, in the world we're living in now, we've got supply chain issues. So that might just be a case you can't get hold of any ammo. You've got a 3D printer. Just whack out some pellets for a bit of, bit of plinking and shooting. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. We enjoyed doing that. We enjoyed checking it out. Will I be printing any more plastic pellets anytime soon? Probably not. But, you know, the option's there. So if you like that, thanks for watching. See you next time.